let's get back to the little things. Like movies. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, tell me when to start. Uh, oh, you're not taping already, are you? Yeah. Oh, I, oh, I didn't. I just, I just, yeah. Okay. All right, so go ahead. It's Movie Time is produced by John DeSando. Listen to shows and read reviews online at wcbe.org. I'm John DeSando. I'm Wayne Miller. This is It's Movie Time. It's Movie Time. Well, you know, it's the little things. It's the little things in life. Which, which can annoy they, me. They, they usually do. Yeah, well, I, it's, but it's the little things that build up into much bigger things. Yeah. It's like little pebbles that are <laughs> added to the concrete. You know, to make buildings. So All right, so, so a couple of weeks ago, yep. Denzel came out uh, with a new movie yep. called The Little Things. Yes. Uh, three Oscar winners in this. How yes. could you go wrong? I know. Wow. Oh, wow. It was uh, a humdinger, let me tell you. Oh, so, and yeah, you tell us a little bit about it. Okay. I'm always afraid yeah. to ask you, but... I, I know you are. <laughs> then I'll go on and on. Yeah. Basically, it's a serial killer plot. And... Denzel Washington is a former Los Angeles detective, but, and you don't find out till the end, why he left the forces in some like little podunk town as a deputy, uh, sheriff's deputy, but he sent to LA to get something. And that's when he gets sucked into the investigation of the sergeant, a police sergeant, or sheriff's office sergeant, played by Rami Malik, yeah. and uh, who I believe does a very, very good job. And I know that there's been some people, some reviewers who have kind of criticized, thinking that both he and Jared Leto really are over the top, and I didn't think so. I didn't think so either. In fact, I was really impressed with the, the trio. Yes. And uh, I, I'm sure, I know that Ramey can do more. Right. This, and yeah. we, we've seen him. Uh, and also we know that Jared will, at any time, Go over the top if you oh, ask him. Oh. I mean, he doesn't, he doesn't even <laughs> well, wasn't it Jared that played uh, the Joker yes. in that one yeah, for, no. uh, uh, oh, uh, Harley Quinn movie? <laughs> you know, uh, with my uh, uh, girl I love so much, Margot uh, Robbie. Right, right. And um, but and, uh, and and Denzel is big enough to handle them both. Yes. So yes. He, he can handle yes. that movie, and he does that. So in, he's in a low key way too. Oh which yeah. I kind of like, which is really. Something that he, but he can play over the top in like in his one Oscar winning role yeah. for um, Training, Training Day. day. Yeah, that, yeah. Uh, that he could, you know. Uh, uh, so, but he's got the world weary down. Yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> and Paunch. Yeah. I, mean, he, I think uh, that's prosthetic, don't you? I I don't know. I know, I don't know. I, well, they, uh, one review they were talking about uh, Jared Leto's Paunch. Yeah. And uh, stuff, which I thought yeah. got added to the, his uh, yeah. kind of. Uh, off the wall characterization. So we get we so we have well as far as I can see we have two stories here. Yes. Yeah. One story is about the serial killer. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The mystery element. Yeah. The mystery that, element. Um, um, yeah. Which almost seems to take second place to the uh, evolution of the story of uh, Denzel Deke, Deacon. Is he? Yeah. Deke's, yeah. Yeah. Deke's Deke. background, his motivations. Yeah. Yeah, uh, what what made him leave the force? And I don't think right. we find out. Well, we do, don't we? Yeah, uh, we find out, and that's where um, if you stick to the end, I think because it left a lot of questions, not a lot of things tied up, which is what I like, yeah. and um, that. Uh, but you find out the reason why. You find out a little bit of the backstory uh, that because uh, we meet a uh, very small role on um, his ex-wife and um, and he had mentioned at one time to uh, Rami's character um, about uh, that he had two grown daughters and of course Rami's character is married with two little daughters. Yes, yeah, right. And um, so I thought that was kind of interesting, kind of a throwaway comment that he made but uh, I think it adds into what uh, uh, Denzel's character, Deke, you know, uh, wanted to do near the end to maybe spare Ramey. Yeah, okay, and I and I agree. And, and there's sometimes on uh, not subtle yes. parallel yes. between the, <laughs> those okay. stories, yes. uh, between Denzel's yeah. and uh, Malik's stories. But I still, 
you know, I, I go to these because one of the things I like is is the interaction. Yes. Between the top dogs. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Do you uh, think they did this? I think so. Yeah. I think very well. And I think uh, Jared Leto's character really kind of, that was that was quite interesting. Yes. His yeah. relationship, particularly with Deke, but also uh, I like sometimes the uh, relationship people have with some of the supporting cast. And here, they weren't fleshed out very well. You know, there's a young uh, Latina uh, detective yeah. uh, with um, uh, the L.A. Sheriff's Office, and kind of a throwaway thing that I think could have more could have made, been made of that. There's that one, like the medical examiner that's an old friend of Deke's, as well as Deke's ex-wife. But uh, another, you know, that they could have explored maybe a little more, and that's some of those um, L.A. Uh, uh, police officers that Deke had known. Well, yeah, and his, was it his suit, his, the, uh, the, the officer was with him when yes. things happened to Deke. Yes, he's now, back in, he's back now the in captain. LA. Yeah, yeah, he's on the captain. And, yeah. and uh, 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 it, it, but it, what's interesting is Deke sticking around, you know, to kind of help out because he notices some crucial pieces of evidence and talks about it, and so, but you know that the guy is on his game. Yeah. Uh, but the one thing, and I, uh, at, uh, it's so <laughs> funny that I thought about during this movie, and then when we were leaving, I know where you're going. That uh, you mentioned it before I mentioned <laughs> it about the similarities to a movie from, which is interesting now that you think about it, the movie uh, Seven, yeah. with Morgan Freeman, Brad Pitt, um, uh, Kevin Spacey, uh, interesting enough, especially with uh, Pitt's uh, a kind of rec more recent uh, Oscar win, three Oscar winners. Yep. And it, actually, and then you throw in a fourth with Gwyneth Paltrow. Yep. And uh, but uh, it, that movie took place around the same time because of the Little Things, which takes place in 1990. Yeah. And actually. The director and um, a writer of the movie, uh, I was reading and written it, uh, uh, the screenplay, way back in 1993. Yeah, that's right. And so Seven takes place, but of course Seven was a much darker uh, um, uh, and maybe deeper movie.